Podcast family, bodybuilding with calisthenics, I hope, I hope this is the last time I have to say it's coming back, besides when I start the next season, which will possibly be next year, but anyway, I know a lot of you guys have been missing this, missing these videos, and you know, I've been slacking, but at the same time, things have been happening in terms of my diet and stuff, that's been preventing me from being able to continue with this series, but I'll explain everything later on. I'm just happy to be starting back up. I know I lost some weight because of what's been happening with my diet. I'm about to go weigh myself, and you know what? I'm going to try to do a little, not posing, was well, posing, but just to, to document how my body looks now, because I'm so serious about trying to get to 170, and I just really want to do it with calisthenics. I really want to do it with calisthenics, man, and I, and I have faith that it will work. And when I say calisthenics, I don't mean body weight, guys, for those of you guys who are new to this. Calisthenics as in the exercises that are within calisthenics. Pull-ups, push-ups, dips. Doing weighted versions of those, that's calisthenics. And basically, uh, yeah, I know it will work. I just need to get my diet in check, so let me do my weigh-in. So it looks like I have a lot of progress that I have to make because I did lose some weight. I just weighed myself. I always I always weigh myself before I use the camera just to get the accurate result. And now I'm going to show you guys. But it's okay. I'm not panicking. I actually weigh 148.2 or 148. You know what though? It's cool. I don't care if I weigh 148. I knew I was going to lose weight. And it's funny how some of you guys are saying I'm getting bigger when I feel like I was getting smaller. And I guess it's because I was getting a lot more ripped because when I looked in the mirror the other day, by the way, I'm about to have some rice and mackerel. It tastes so good. Like this is a meal I could have I could have regularly. But anyway, I looked at myself in the bathroom the other day. I was like, "Damn, like I am ripped." I am just, whoa, the striations are coming back in my chest and stuff, because when I was getting that weight, like I had, when I was like at 153, like the other week, I felt like my striations were going away a bit, and I had to flex a little bit harder to see my abs, but now they're, they're a lot more defined again, it wasn't that much of a difference, but I was noticing it, right, and I was just like, damn, like I see the veins in my chest again, but anyway, I still want to be 170, even if I, even if I'm fluffy just a little bit, I don't mind being a little fluffy, I just want to be 170, or at least around like 165, you know? Like something like Christian Guzman. I'm actually gonna make a video on that. I really gotta teach you guys how to prepare this. I'm telling you guys. Like, I'm not saying this is the best gourmet meal. And shit, it's about to rain. Ugh, it's gonna rain. Damn! Can we eat this and then go get my workout in? Jeez, I'm so freaking dumb. I could've just ate a banana for a pre-workout and then got my workout in. But now that I ate that full meal, I have to wait a while. By the time that meal's even settled down in my stomach, it's gonna start raining. So you know what? The thing about Toronto though is, is like when it rains, it only even if it rains hard, most of the time it only rains for like 10 minutes to like half an hour or something. It doesn't really rain for long periods of time, at least as of now, like recently. So I'll just be able to get my workout in after it's done raining. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try out this Black Ops Beta. Of course, it says it's locked because this isn't actually my account, right? My real account. But yeah, I'm gonna try this Black Ops Beta, and I'm gonna do the giveaway probably Sunday, Saturday. I don't know. I'll do the giveaway this weekend though, Saturday or Sunday. And yeah, let's see how it is. I'm not a fan of Call of Duty. I'm really not a fan of Call of Duty, but hey, it's a free beta. Why not? So let's go. You know what? YOLO. YOLO. I don't care. I'm going to try to get as much of a workout in as I possibly can because I do not feel like waiting to get my workout in. Every time I wait, I am slacking off and I say, you know what? I'll do it tomorrow. So forget that. I know it's windy, but I'll try my best to get some footage and, and train, bro. I want to get back on track. So no excuses. So I just finished my workout. I'm so happy I went and did it. Oh my gosh, because it didn't even start raining. So imagine if I waited and waited and waited and then it didn't rain. And then as soon as I decided that I wanted to get a workout in, it rained. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. No excuses, guys. Even when you see me make excuses, don't cut me slack if I'm making excuses. I don't care if you tear me another asshole. Do it if you have to. You're like, Simon, 
Stop making excuses. Well, some things are, are legit, though. Some things are legit. Like, I actually have some legit excuses. But for this one today where I was going to say, you know what? I'm going to wait till it rains. And, yeah, that was BS. And I'm like, you know what? F it. I didn't play COD yet. I just went and did the workout. And I'm happy I did. And it wasn't a big workout. It wasn't a long workout. But it got the job done for me. And I'm about to have my protein shake. Okay, I'm about to have my protein shake. My last cup left, I think. There's not that much milk left in here. My hippie milk. Guys, get almond milk, man. Get almond milk. Forget the cow milk. Let's go vegan, guys. Let's go vegan. So do y'all remember how this works? Let's do a quick little tutorial for those who didn't watch the tutorial. Add the oats. It's harder, guys. It's harder doing it with the camera in your hand and trying to pour at the same time so you don't make a mess. Okay, add the oats. Add the protein. Add three scoops of sugar. Sugar, sugar. Add one. Let's count, guys, at kindergarten. Okay, right here. Two. Okay, okay, one more. One more. Three. And the reason why I'm adding three scoops of sugar is because I'm gonna be adding two cups of almond milk and three ice cubes. If I was adding only two ice cubes, I would only add two uh, tablespoons of sugar. But the thing is, is I'm adding three, so. Then you add the nutmeg. No homo, because you know, you don't really wanna add nuts to anything that you're trying to consume. You guys wanna consume some nuts? These nuts. Add cinnamon. And I just eyeball this, like seriously, I just eyeball it. But you guys can watch the tutorials to get like exact measurements and stuff. I'm trying to pour it in. So after you add all of them dry ingredients, you're gonna go and you're gonna take three ice cubes or how many ice cubes you want. Uh, let me take, even though they're all the same, I like, I like picking my ice cubes. So I take this one right here, boom. Come on, man, come on. No, like you, like, you know, doing this with a camera makes it so much harder. You know what, F it. I'll take these two ice cubes right here, boom. Tree, I have it plugged in. I take this, boom, pour it in. Up until, up until it reaches two cups. Boom, two cups. Then I take this, dump it in there. Boom, and I go. Boom, get my peanut butter, it's almost done. Look at this, guys. You guys wanna see something? Watch this. Hmm, I wonder what snacks there's in here today. Oh, oh, shoot, it's broken. Oh, man, I really am poor. And we haven't got this fixed for so long. I don't know who the hell broke it, but whatever. The ghetto. Oh, shit. Woo, woo. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, bruh. Chill, bruh. And my mom bought these cookies, not me, so don't kill me, guys. But yes, let's add the peanut butter, and that will be my shake. So do y'all see that? The peanut butter, the oats, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the sugar, the protein powder, the milk, the ice. Let's add it all in. I'll post the, the tutorial on the screen so you guys can go watch it and see the macros and the measurements. And soon enough, when you get better at it, you can make your own protein shake, okay? So let's get it going, bruh. Whoa! Oh, shit! Okay, you know what? Let me put the camera away <laughs> before I, like, destroy the kitchen. I know you guys want to see the legendary pouring, so let's get it going. Mm. Isn't this a sight to behold, baby? I hate how it's always dripping off the side. And there's still more! All these gains, bro! All of these gains is mine! Gains before the storm. So I know by now you guys are wondering, yo, Simon, where the hell is the workout footage? Well, I'm doing it a little bit differently now. I'm gonna start explaining. You know how I used to do the commentary over the footage in the previous episodes? Now I'm going to start just doing the commentary like this and adding the B-roll footage on top of this footage. So instead of me taking the clips, right? So even as I'm talking right now, y'all are gonna start seeing the workout. 
and basically instead of taking the clips and uploading it to the computer and then speaking over it, I'm just going to speak like this like in a vlogging fashion and have the clips play kind of like how Bradley Martin does his videos, right? I like, I like that style better. And the mic on this is way better than my shitty computer, so I started off with doing dips and I knew I should have started off by doing the pike the pike push-ups or the, the assisted handstand push-ups or whatever you want to call them, so many different names. But whatever, it was still a good workout. I didn't add any weight. The reason why I didn't add weight is because when I was not training, Usually when I get back into training, I don't like to make it any harder, even though I know I could I could do the workout. Like when I don't train for a while, I could still pump out like 30 plus dips and stuff. I could still pump out, I could still rep out these exercises like push-ups, dips, whatever. But the thing is, is when I get back, I need to get my discipline back up again. I like to start off a little bit easier, still go to failure, but I just don't increase the intensity. I like to go for volume. So I started off with doing dips, all of my sets until failure, or really close to failure. That's what I'm trying to do with bodybuilding calisthenics. I'm not trying to do like powerlifting, where I don't try to go to failure, right? So basically I started off with dips, and then I went on to doing uh, the handstand, pike, push-ups, whatever you want to call it, to train my shoulders. Because when I work out, I typically try to do three compound exercises, where I'm pushing or pulling in all three directions. So my first, my first exercise, which was the dips, I'm pushing downward, right? So because I'm pushing downward, I'm gonna be targeting my triceps, of course, because it's a push exercise, but I'm also targeting my lower chest. Now, I don't train my upper, I don't actually directly train my upper chest, and I'm going to soon enough, but with the downward motion, the downward pushing, dips, it's gonna train your lower chest, right? And then, when I moved on to the handstand, pipe push-ups or whatever, I started training my front delts and my triceps. And those ones I usually start off with first because even if I'm training with the weights, I don't do that exercise with weights because it's already so heavy, already a hard exercise to do just with body weight. And then after that, I went into the push-ups and I did the push-ups on top of the bar, on top of the parallel bars because I feel like I, I could get a way better contraction in my chest because as I push, I kind of squeeze this way. So when I'm doing push-ups, I will go down, right? And then I will go down and then when I, when I push out, I kind of squeeze my shoulders together and get a contraction in my chest. So that's a tip you guys can use for when you're doing push-ups because some people feel like they don't get that mind muscle connection with push-ups as they do with bench press, but you can. When I do it on the floor, it doesn't work that well for me, right? It doesn't work that well for me. And basically that's what I did. I only did three exercises. Uh, that's not what I'm always gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing some assisted one-arm push-ups like you've seen in the previous episode, I think, which I'll put on the screen. And basically, I just want to keep it simple. Now, what I'm gonna start doing in bodybuilding calisthenics is I'm going to train. This is gonna be my new split, guys. It's gonna be a weird split, but hear me out. Friday is gonna be push day. Saturday is going to be pull day. And then Sunday is gonna be leg day. And I'm really gonna try to train legs now. I'm really gonna try to train legs. And then Monday, I'm gonna do upper body day. So push and pull. And then Wednesday, I'm going to do upper body and lower body, so full body. So basically, I'm gonna do chest, chest, shoulders, triceps on Friday. Then I'm gonna do back and biceps on Saturday, legs on Sunday. Then I'm gonna do my entire upper body on uh, Monday, and then my entire upper body and lower body on Wednesday. So I'm basically training my upper body three times a week, and I'm training my lower body two times a week. I'm trying to increase the frequency at which I train my muscle groups. And my legs, I don't care about it so, so much. I know some guys are gonna say, you're gonna have twig legs and a crazy upper body. Guys, I'm, I'm only going to 170 or probably 165. So I'm not gonna gain that much that, that much mass to the point where my upper body's gonna look like a freaking, you know, twig. I mean, my upper body's gonna look like a freaking beast where my legs look like a twig, right? And the thing is, even Omar Esau said, man, like calves and stuff, it's all genetics. Man, I don't really care to have huge calves and it's gonna, like, I don't really care to put so much time into trying to have huge calves put it that way i ain't gonna fit into the pants that i like to wear anyway so i rather keep my legs not my legs aren't so twig like though like they're small but relative to my body like it's, it's not so bad so i'm not worried about my legs so basically my new training split is is upper body three times a week lower body two times a week and i'm going to be recording 
my videos on the weekends and then schedule them for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So for example, this episode right now, I'm recording this on Friday, but I'm going to be uploading it on Monday. Saturday's episode, I'm going to record on Saturday, but upload it on Wednesday. So I'm able to like schedule my time and just, you know, free up my time basically. Because when I start work, I cannot record during the week and edit during the week and go to work. It's, there's, there's literally no time in the day to do that. But that's basically how I'm going to go about it. And yeah, I'm hoping this will work. And also, remember guys, Bodybuilding Cow Stanks is every other week. Okay, it's every other week. It is not going to be, it's not going to be uh, every week. Because some people wonder like, yo, like what happened to Bodybuilding Cow Stanks? I know I haven't been uploading, but even when I was uploading before regularly, you guys are like, yo, what happened? I'm like, yo, guys, it's not Bodybuilding Cow Stanks week. That's next week. It's every other week, right? So next week, so when you see this episode, Wednesday you're going to see an episode, Friday you're going to see an episode, and the week after that is going to be all of my other types of videos, my reactions, uh, talking about stuff, you know, help videos, anything else. So it's going to be fitness for one week, and the other week is going to be whatever else I want it to be, vlogs, or reactions, responses, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm trying to keep it, I'm trying to keep my channel about fitness, not keep it about fitness, but I'm trying to keep the fitness in there and incorporate other stuff because I don't want to become a fitness channel. I don't want to become a fitness person. I want to be a guy who does fitness and who does this and who does that and who does that. And of course I try to separate, I try to keep everything organized so that you guys are confused about what the hell you're watching and why you're subscribed to me, right? So I'm just trying to care to everybody. I'm trying to just live my dream and just be happy doing YouTube. Okay, so I'm rambling on too much. If there's anything more you guys want me to speak on, like when you guys hear me rant about these things, if there's anything you actually want me to elaborate on in a different video, just comment down below. And now I'm starting to, a lot of times you guys request videos from me and I, and I say I'll, I'll do it, but I forget. So now I made like a Microsoft Word uh, document and every time you guys request something now, I just go there and I just, I just uh, plop that request in that file so that I, I remember it. Right, so that's what I'm trying to do because I feel like I was straying away from helping you guys and I was trying to lean more towards just trying to entertain you guys for views. Right? Because it happens when you're a YouTuber and you see yourself getting views and stuff, you, you get addicted to the views. Right? So then you get scared of trying something new. You get scared of doing something that you feel like it won't get a lot of views. And I gotta, I gotta remain true to myself, man. I gotta remain true to myself. I wanna entertain you guys, but at the same time, I love helping you guys. So I'm really gonna try to step that part up too. You guys remember I was doing uh, SOS Family Talk? I wonder if I should bring that back. Uh, you guys comment down below. But anyways, I hope you guys are happy. Uh, Bodybuilding with Cal Sanx is back. I'll try to keep it up as much as I can. And I thank you guys, SOS Family. You guys have been supporting me. Uh, you guys support me through anything, man. Even when I'm slacking, I'm falling off and stuff, you guys just remain there and say, yo, don't worry, man. Like, don't stress yourself. You guys tell me to, to, to don't stress myself. So I'll listen to you guys, man. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all next time. I don't have my hat, but done. Yo, this is like from Saw. Yo, how is this on YouTube? How is this on YouTube?